What is up guys, Rashid here and in this video I'll be showcasing my Erlich Dogmatic Addict that I took to the High Score Con in Dubai yesterday. The tournament was hosted by Back to Games, shout out to them. The tournament was well managed and it was really really fun. Hope they make another big tournament in the future soon and so shout out to them. I managed to win, I managed to get third place at the tournament winning around 20 some ODS packs sadly and I didn't pull any ulties. And my friend who got first place pulled six ulties. Oh, I mean, wow, he deserved it. So I managed to win this awesome metal card and 20 some ODS packs. But overall, my performance at the tournament was satisfying to me personally. Because at the end, if you are satisfied with your performance and the deck you built, it's all, it, it means everything to be honest. So let's not talk more about what I did there and let's talk more about the deck. So why did I choose this deck? I made the meta call that I'm gonna see a lot of Dogmatica at the event. I want to play purple uh, control, which is basically saying I'm running trap deck, but I don't wanna just run floodgates. I, I only have like three floodgates in the deck and they're all one-offs. I don't wanna play the, the typical Edlich flip of floodgate and win. I wanna play control Edlich where I punish my opponent for underestimating my deck because I don't flip floodgates at them and well I'll explain more once I start talking about the cards so I went with three golden lord why three golden lords I hate it when they banish it uh, maybe if I'm playing against invoked and they decide to banish my golden lord so I don't want to lose a matchup because he's my carry he's gonna carry me all game through I don't have any boss monster except him. So losing, if, if I'm playing like two and losing one, I'm losing a lot of power. So what happened is, if I play against someone and I notice that their deck doesn't banish my gold a lot, I'm gonna side this one out. Like 90% uh, of my games after siding, I side out one gold lord. But opening it is really fine as well because against my hero matchup, I just like send it to grave, uh, send whatever uh, whatever monster they have, they're gonna use to. Uh, or like uh, force them to use the mask changer right now when I still have my golden lord in grave I'm gonna summon him and run out something else so three is fine for the dogmatic I decided to play double ecclesia and one maximus so why maximus my theory is or my way of thinking is I'm gonna win the dogmatica matchup every time if my if my opponent playing invoke dogmatica Shadow Dogmatica, I have a huge advantage in that matchup because if they use their Maximus, I'm gonna send whatever Entis or any other stuff I have to disrupt him. And on the matchup that my opponent doesn't have uh, interactive extra deck monster that get that has an effect when you send them to grave, uh, my my Maximus will destroy them every single turn. So my so what I do against a hero player, I'm gonna bring my Maximus, I'm gonna activate the effect, I'm gonna send Entis and my Omega. Pop a card, activate this, shuffle it back, do a repeat. I, for, I guess the hero player, I played a lot of hero players yesterday. I made this play maybe 10 times and I had maximums for like 5 turns. I was down to 100 life points. So what just I gonna do? I kept this in defense. He would set a monster. I'm just gonna go Entis, pop it, shuffle back. Entis, pop it, shuffle back. I made him have only one card in the extra deck. When for a hero player to have one card in the extra deck is a death sentence. So that's why I have maximus in. If I'm going second, I'm going to side Maximus out because I don't want to see my opening hand because Maximus in the hand is like I'm playing with one less card that can I use because he's a brick. So that's why I played Maximus. In the future, I will cut Maximus, but I had him specifically for this tournament because I was expecting the uh, uh, matchups where I got to use my So the whole idea is if my opponent used their Maximus, I'm not gonna use mine. I'm gonna send everything in my extra deck and destroy them. If my opponent doesn't have Maximus, I will have my own Maximus and send stuff and destroy them. So that's the whole idea. For spells, I play three Nadir Servant, best card in the deck. I decided to play Cursed Endland actually. A lot of players who play Edlich Dogmatica just cut this card out. This card is Ash Bait. If I play, I, this card got Ash so many times yesterday, I'm really happy I played it because it's gonna stay on the field. I'm gonna use it next turn. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna activate it. Pay 800. It's like, oh, okay, Ash. All right, you not your servant. And he lost the game. So the card is really good. Onto my uh, disruption, I play Forbidden Droplet. The card really worked yesterday. 
uh, helping me break boards because what I, what I what I usually do is uh, if my hand is bad I'm gonna and I have torrential let's say I said torrential a eldritch trap and uh, droplet so I will bait my opponent with the eldritch trap I'm gonna summon him then I'm gonna trigger my torrential tribute he's gonna trigger his negation I'm gonna use forbidden droplets sending both to grave and uh, destroying his field because after you solve torrential once against a combo player they can't recover they can't outgrind you at all and I played one mystic mind for my floodgate of choice uh, for the spell category it's really easy to play around it yourself because you have the golden lord you can like any time in the game you just like kind of get rid of it and kill your opponent so the card is really good I'm gonna keep it going forward and one well, the last spell, one last black awakening. The card is really good. If I don't open a way to summon my golden lord, I'm just gonna activate this, press will summon it, set my idle trap and pass. Now on to the best cards in the deck, which are the purple traps. I play three solemn strike, no judgment. I had judgment in the side, which I regretted to be honest. I got red reboot so many times. My god, it's frustrating to get red rebooted and lose because of that sake card. So going forward, I'm going to put 3 Judgment in the main. But for uh, for yesterday's, I just played 3 Strike. Really good card. Came in handy. Another MVP of the deck is Ice Dragon Prison. The card uh, pulled its weight yesterday by banishing so many Dragoons. You won't believe it. And I played 3 Punishment. The card, it's the main reason you play Dogmatic and the deck is Punishment. Because usually to uh, 1 for 2, 1 for 2. Or you get sent Titanic Light and you get a Search. The card is really awesome. Another amazing card is Torrential Tribute. Uh, this is the main card I wanted to play. So our, my thought process is, I want to play Torrential. Alright, which decks are good when you play Torrential? Okay, I have multiple decks. So uh, when I ended up with Eld Legend, I splashed Dogmatica. So this card kills basically all the meta right now. The card is amazing. Just two Trap Tricks, because I don't want to see a lot. I don't want to see two in my opening hand because it's a brick. One is enough. So it basically makes I have five copies of Torrential, five copies of Punishment, five copies of Ice Dragon Prison, which is really amazing. So I always have an Outer Dragoon if I want to. And for my one-offs, I play one Skill Jr, one Imperial Order. I never saw Imperial Order yesterday, never once. Skill Jr, I saw it once, won me a game. Now onto my Elder Traps. Uh, triple Sanguine, Triple Conquistador, Double Hakero and the Guardian. This card, like I bait my opponent so much they don't expect it at all. So you can go damn it, they get, like I bait them with my Golden Lord. I will use my uh, Sanguine to summon my Golden Lord in attack position. They say, oh, he's screwed up. He has his Golden Lord in attack position. Let's kill it. So they attack into it. I say damage step, Guardian, special summon it, non-targeting, make your make my uh, my opponent's monster attack zero, and he loses his monster. I bait my uh, I, I bait an opponent to attacking with Dragoon after he uses negation. Then I use this. His attack is zero. He dies. Onto my extra deck. MVP of the extra deck is Lava Golem. I almost I saw him almost every single time. I went second. He breaks so many boards. If I see my opening hand, I'm confident like eighty percent I'm gonna win the game. Uh, he killed so many dragoons. So many, uh, what do you call the garbage? He, uh, yeah, uh, Dark Law. I tripled so many Dark Laws yesterday with Lava Golem. The card is really good. So uh, I would suggest you play it if you are playing Eldritch. Uh, my least favorite extra, sorry, my least favorite side deck card is Inspector Border. I only saw him twice yesterday, and every time I saw him, I lost the game. Because I, uh, what happened is, and that game when I lost in the playoffs, I had two Inspector Border and one Ecclesia in my opening hand and two traps. So, and I, what am I gonna do? Just normal summon it, set two traps. My opponent just Lightning Storm my traps, plays uh, the uh, uh, Danos of uh, Field Spell, his attack is 15, he runs over it, and I lose the game. So, going forward, I'm not gonna play this card. It's really bad, in my opinion. If you're, if you're, if you're playing just the, the pure Floodgate, Variant, I think he's good, but in my build, I found he's uh, really weak. And I play Judgment. I always side this card in. Uh, for some reason, I decided not to main it, and I regretted it every time, every situation when I had the ability. If I had Judgment, I was gonna win. So going forward, this card should stay in the main.
Don't cite it. Three, anti-spell, really an amazing card. So instead of uh, worrying about lightning storms, you just play this and they, can, uh, they can't activate their lightning storm. And lastly, I decided to play Triple Twin Twister. I expected uh, people to maybe have Royal Decree or, or maybe uh, Ultra Guys or some other form of slow trap decks or maybe even, even the Mirror because uh, I don't want to lose to a trap deck when I'm a trap deck myself. So having Twin Twisters is really nice because some people actually uh, side in uh, spell and trap removals like their own Twin Twisters and uh, uh, spell removal going first. Say so they set it and make their board and pass. So having Twin Twisters is really nice. I only activated it twice yesterday, but I still I, th I think I'm gonna keep it in the uh, in the deck. Okay, now onto the extra deck. Of course, we play just go to the back. I play Triple Entis. I think I'm gonna cut one Entis going forward if I change the build because I think if you don't play any uh, if you don't play Prosperity or Extravagance uh, two is enough but if you play the any card that uh, banishes from your extra deck I think you should play three of course you play one Titanic Lad and the MVP five headed dragon this guy won me a very 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 clutch game against the hero player so what happened is he had Dark Law he was attacking for game I activated punishment targeting the Dark Lord. I was like, all right, uh, honest Neos makes his attack 4,900. It's like, okay, GG. I was like, no, man, here, take five headed dragon. He was 100 short. So this guy was really awesome. On to the links. I'm gonna save one spicy link monster. Maybe it's spoiled in the thumbnail. If you know it, shout out. Okay, one Lake Spider, one Phoenix Nightmare. I made this a lot, never made this, never needed to. Uh, one Lina for my access code combo. Uh, so what you do is you just summon her, use her effect, summon a light monster from your opponent, grave, summon this, uh, because it's a spellcaster, get three counters, uh, summon a spellcaster, then uh, go to access code. Uh, me and my cousin made almost the exact same deck with the same extra. I never went into access code yesterday, never once, because of my, how my uh, matchups were. But the, the card in theory is really good. It wins you games. If they banish your Gordon Lords and you just need to kill them that turn, access code is really nice. So if you have the money to afford it, just play access code. If not, just play anything else. Of course, one BLS, never made him. And onto the uh, Xyz, the Super Dreadnought Cannon and his brother. I won two games yesterday with this, just burning my opponent and attacking for game with this. So it's really nice. And of course the MPV Omega, just um, abusing Maximus and abusing my Exo deck even further. So onto the card I uh, said it's gonna be in the end, which is Farajet. The best Dogmatica card I have ever seen in my life. Like the amount of hand fixing this card makes you, my God, it's really glorious. So let's let's do a hypothetical scenario where I have my Nadir servant. So what's gonna happen is, let's say this is my this is my hand. All right, I'll show you the awesome combo that my cousin suggested I play Fair Jet in the deck and it really, really, really pulls it to weight. So what's gonna happen is, uh, let's say this is my hand, all right. All right, so I don't like having my, so I'm going first, I don't wanna see Golden Lord in my opening hand. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go Nadir Servant, send Fair Jet, I'm gonna add Ecclesia to my hand, then Fair Jet's gonna trigger, it's gonna allow me to draw one more card. So let's say I'm gonna draw that's really awesome. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to shuffle this uh, the, my golden lord back to the bottom, and here I just fix my hand. Even if sometimes I will have two, uh, have one more ecclesia in my hand, or I will have the punishment in my hand. Then I'm going to shuffle that back. So uh, next, I'm going to normal summon the ecclesia. I'm going to use her effect. It either depending on the matchups, either I'm going to go for punishment, or I'm going to go for. Where is it? I'm gonna go for Maximus. I'm gonna banish the Frigid, special summoning the Maximus. I'm gonna use the effect. I'm gonna send 
Okay, that's a titanic lot. Uh, maybe an omega. This is fine. Let's say this is I'm going first. I'm gonna send that. If I'm going second, maybe I'm gonna send an interest and pop a card and we'll send an omega. Alright. I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna add a golden lord to my hand. Because it's it's free now. What can I do is I can send these to the grave. To activate to trigger the uh, curse and land. Sending this to the graveyard. Then I'm gonna set two. End phase, these two get vanished. Gonna get this and the spell, if I can find it. Yep, it is. And then a Titanic Cloud is gonna trigger. I'm gonna get me another Ecclesia for next turn. So basically this hand is really awesome, uh, It's uh, the power level is above average, so I have this for for next turn, I have my Torrential, and I have my Ice Dragon Prison to protect me next turn, I'm gonna end phase use, I can even trigger my own uh, Torrential Tribute by uh, by sacrificing my Golden Lord, and I'm gonna, if you thin out your deck with Golden Lords, you're gonna draw gas in the end. So this is the combo with Fairy Jet, going forward even when I play Invoke Dogmatica, I might, just, I might keep her like, the card is amazing. So another trick, uh, I got some players off guard. What I'm going to, what, what I do is, uh, when I start like I'm shuffling my deck in the tournament, all right, I'm gonna keep it like this. So my opponent will see it with he's gonna think I'm playing Tri Brigade. Then I'm gonna like do it like this, put it aside. It's like oh this guy is playing Tri Brigade, so I have to worry about maybe the uh, wind barrier, whatever Tri Brigade shenanigans there. But then he's gonna see set five passes like what? What dick is this? Ah, oh, I'm not playing Tribrigade, I'm playing Purple Control. <laughs> I think I caught one or two players knowingly yesterday with this trick. Other than that, uh, it's just like something cheeky to do. Or sometimes what I'm gonna do is I might do it like this. Makes him confused. Why do I have my five headed dragon in the extra deck? Just something to do there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer every question. And peace.